Allison. Somebody just open up, please. Jamal! Allison, shh, shh, listen, just listen. What, I don't, I don't hear anything. All right, all those people in there, not a sound, something happened. You don't think, that, I mean, you don't think that they're, they're dead or anything, do you? I mean, you don't think that... No. It's all right. They won. What? Caleb's gone, he's... Well, wait, wait, Caleb! Brief! It doesn't matter now. It's over. Caleb's gone for good. What's the matter with all of you? It's over, don't you understand? He's dead. We need our son. Yes, of course. No, Livy, don't touch him! We'll get him, just get rid of these bars. Right, yeah. Yeah, there has to be a button or something. Hurry! It's okay, Danny. Get Look, I'm it. trying, okay? Just stop looking at me like that, all of you. I never wanted to help Caleb, but it was our only chance. He had to believe that I loved him. That's why I kept playing along, so he would trust me enough to let his guard down. But he had to have his full powers back and still be vulnerable. Look, it's the only way for someone who isn't a slayer to kill a vampire for good. But now we're free of this monster! Dad... Everything's... gonna be fine. You... you believe me, don't you? I mean, everything's gonna be okay. It's not okay, Livy. Far from it. But I don't, Lucy's I don't dead! And you killed her. Do you really think it's that easy to get rid of my dad? <gasps> Lucy... Lucy, you're alive. Yeah, I am. I'm fine. Lucy, please check on Danny. Is he okay? Right. Please, right. please. Eve, he, he's fine. Get him out of here. He's okay. Ian, why? The, the day sure is over. That? Yes, no. I'm sure it, it's over. What? But are you talking about Livy? <laughs> Livy's on our side. She is. You sure? Look, I wouldn't be standing here right now if it wasn't for her. Caleb was going to kill me. She came along and, and, and stopped him. She asked if, if she could kill me, and he, he let her. It's over. So, Livy, no, no. <laughs> you missed. No, Lucy, I didn't miss. I was aiming for the tree. What? Oh. Oh, I knew you couldn't do it. I knew you wouldn't do it, Livy. Shoot, we don't have much time. Caleb's got to believe I really went through with this, so we have got to figure out a way to convince him, like, really fast. Right, right. Okay, okay, I tell you what. Uh, here, take him the arrow and, and, and nick it or something and just tell him you shot it. No, no, that's not enough. He's out for blood, Lucy. Okay. Okay, then. If it's blood he wants, then it's blood he's gonna get. What are you gonna do? Give me the arrow. And uh, then I, I, I baptized the arrow with my own blood, and I, I, I staged my own death. Yes, and he didn't think twice once he tasted her blood. Lucy. I know, Doc. It's going to be okay. Everybody is going to be okay. And, and we owe everything to Livy. Listen, this was the only way this could happen. She saved all of us. And <sighs> Caleb would have picked us all off one by one. It was his love for her that saved us. She is his weak spot. Excuse me, but we all know that, that Caleb bit the dust once. How do we know he's not going to rise up again? Because he let down his guard at full power. That satisfies all the rules for the undead to die. For good. No questions. No questions. See for yourself.
Yes. Look at him. No, don't. Oh, Jamal, Mom. it's unbelievable. Hundreds of years old in the blink of an eye. Is he all right? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. You're safe, aren't you? You're safe. Both of you. Come here. Dad. Oh, I know, I know. Just let me hold you for a minute. Oh. Here, hey, Wexler, uh, right here. Where you think you're going? Nowhere without you, Chris. That's right. That's what I like to hear. You okay? I just get me a coffee. Oh, my God. It's all right. It's over. Wait, that, that was Caleb? It was. But you didn't know what Lydia had planned all along, didn't you? Some sort of, like, angel thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was something like that. But remember, you promised me you got to keep your mouth Okay, I'm sorry. I know. Okay. An angel. Allie. Oh. Allie. Come here, baby. Come on, Jamal. Hey. Hey. Jamal. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Jamal. Jack, can we talk? Uh, Libby, in, in a minute. I, I just want to see him up close for myself, all right? Hey, he's dead. Jack, trust me. Trust you? Hey. You OK? OK. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my god. Yeah. I mean, why, why, why does he look? Like that. Uh, well, meet Caleb Morley in his human form. You see, in reality, he's hundreds and hundreds of years old, and the evil was keeping him eternally young, and now the evil's gone. No more evil, no more powers. Just very old, very human, very dead man. Honey, I knew in my heart all along that you'd never give in to Caleb again. Well, it was hard, Dad. I know. I know. But everyone in this room is grateful. You know, when I got things back to normal. Normal, is it? There's a lot of people got hurt. Well, Livy and Caleb weren't the only ones doing the hurting. I bought into it, too. I believe the worst about you. We're all blinded by Caleb. And we all did some things we're not proud of. Yeah, you're right. And truth be told, our lives may never be the same again. You gonna be all right? Just yeah. for a minute, I'll, I'll bring the car around. Yeah, just hurry up, please, Chris. Karen. I am worried about you. You look... Oh, okay. I... Oh, yeah, I know. I just caught a bug. Caleb, being here has answered a lot of questions, huh? What do you mean? I mean, we're not the only ones who've been having a bumpy ride. Maybe, maybe what happened to you and me is mixed up with Caleb and... Maybe. It has to be. Nothing else makes any sense. There's, there's no way you just woke up one morning and fell for Chris Ramsey. I know how you feel. Mike, don't. Please. You look me in the eye and tell me. You say it to my face right now and make me believe it this time. You're choosing Chris Ramsey over us. Damn it, Karen. Don't do this. Well, what? Don't, don't do what? Does it look like she's ready? Frank. I'm sorry. No, wait. You gotta go, Frank. Karen, just lean on me, okay? Gotcha. Karen. All I know is that I want to get out of here and go home. Home? Danny's home. My home. Eve, not everything's changed because Caleb's gone. As far as the system's concerned, I'm still Danny's guardian. Okay, fine. Fine, then I'll go to the lighthouse with you, okay? I just know that I would never leave Danny again. I understand. Doc. Lucy, I know there's a lot of things that we have to talk about. But, but I don't think this but. is the time. In fact, I think there's something we need to do first. Primary pulmonary hypertension, or PPH, is a life-threatening disease. Flolan, UT15, and lung trauma. When Caleb died, maybe I'd... I get better? Yeah. You know, the serum that I made gave you some of the powers and some of the traits, but it... But it didn't transform me into a real... <clears throat> full-fledged vampire, yeah, I know. Right. 
And, and I'm, I'm, I'm this close to coming up Stop with a way it. to reverse Stop it. it. No, Chris. honestly, I am. This close isn't close enough. I, and even if it were, you saw Caleb and how quickly he aged. But like you said, you're not an actual vampire. No, but my actual insides are falling apart. I'm dying, Chris. And there's nothing you or anybody else can do to stop it. Hard to believe this was Doug for Lucy. Yeah, well, now it's Caleb's. Thank God. You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm OK. Um, what about even the baby? Are they OK? Well, it's cold out here. They're waiting in the car. Good. No place for a baby. I just can't believe all the pain and all the lives torn apart. Yeah. But we'll get back on track. It'll take time, but we will. Right. Libby? Oh, God. Dad, I'm fine. I'm okay, really. I just I didn't hear you coming. Honey, you just plunged an arrow into Caleb's chest after helping him for months. That's not something you can just shrug off. I don't want to talk about it. Dad, please, not right now. Okay. Libby? Uh, Jack, now's not a good time. No, Dad. I have to, um... I have to start dealing with this somehow, and I think Jack deserves some answers. Okay. So, how's it feel, Slayer? Mm, like destiny, like something I was born to do. But there is the small matter of the fact that I didn't actually get to pull the arrow and shoot my crossbow. It found its home deep in an evil heart, and you helped guide it. Thanks. Hey, thank you very much for helping me and for helping Livy. You did it all on your own, Lucy Kovich. Victory is yours, cousin. Cousin. Listen, I, I don't want to see this for another minute, OK? Why don't we just take Valerie home, OK? okay. Then we can no, 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 no. I can't be alone. Not after this, you guys, okay, please. OK, OK, look, Come take on. it easy. Yeah. All right, right. Um, that's fine. We're at, we're at the recovery room, OK? All right, as long as there's people there. I just can't be alone. Hey, yeah. Not yet. OK. OK, we get it, all right? All right. Um, Allie, you wanna... Yeah, it's fine. Listen, um, can you just give me a minute? I'll just, um, just like two minutes, okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Hey, hi. Um, do you wanna come with us? Uh, we're gonna go over to the recovery room. I wish I could, but Please, I... for me, I would really like to have your company. I'd really like that, too, but, um... Like I said, I mean, I wish I could, I just... What? Why can't you? Well, after we're done here, there's someplace else I really have to be. You don't... you don't mean... I mean, you're... you don't have to go back. You're not done yet, are you? I mean... I mean, I'm gonna s see you again, right? I mean... I hope so, Allison. I really do. And you have to believe me. Once I realized Caleb was using me to do his dirty work, I wanted to tell you. Then why didn't you? Because he would have known. And then he would have turned all of Port Charles into a living hell. Jack, he hated us all that much. No, not all of us. He loved you. Yeah, and when I finally realized how much he loved me, that's when I knew that I could probably change everything. I mean, I, I knew just what to do. See, that's, that's the part I don't understand, Libby, is how did you know what to do? Well, it's... It's like on the GH roof that night when Eve reached out to Michael and got him to fight Caleb. Caleb, his love for his brother was his weak spot then, and his love for me was his one weak spot now. And I had to act just as vengeful and hateful as he was for me to gain his trust. So you could destroy him. Right, right. That, that part, I understand. But... What I don't understand is why did you try to kill me? Jack Caleb had to believe that I would do it for him. And you almost did. No, Jack, I never would have hurt you. I wrote a message on my napkin to warn you, but then, then Allison came and she spilled the drink all over the place. Jack, please. I swear on my own life. I swear on the moment that our love felt strongest to you, Jack. I swear with my whole heart and soul. I don't know what else to say. I think I just realized, like, I've hurt so many people. I've damaged so many hearts. 
and maybe for good. Even ours. Hey, you're... You were just trying to help. That's all. And you, you did a good job. You did what you had to do. Maybe too good. What do you think? Satisfied? Not enough dirt on Earth to heap it high enough. True, but whatever was left and got dumped in that hole won't be walking around again. Yeah, we can finally be sure of that. All right, people. Last shovel full. Wait, there's one more thing that needs to disappear forever. Well, now we can forget it. Forget? I don't think so. I say he's dust. And he stays dust forever. Oh my God. Look at it. You feel that? Yeah, the warmth. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's almost like some sort of miracle. A new day. A whole new beginning. guided your people without telling them what to do. Yeah, you I... followed the rules. And you uh, never lost your faith in them. Yeah, but... And that's the reason you should just give yourself a break. But my job's not done yet. You got time yet. There's a lot of unhappiness yet out there that has to be put into balance by Christmas Eve. <sighs> but how? <laughs> how? Oh, how are you going to get all those miserable couples back together again in such a short time? Yeah, well, what's the trick, Ed? Beats me. Maybe you need a Christmas miracle. So you're saying these couples, they have to be holding hands by the time the clock strikes midnight on Christmas Eve, or... Or they all lose a chance to have a future together. It's not going to come around again for them, son. It's now or never. Great. What do you mean, great? You got a problem? You can't handle it? No, I... Yes, I can't... Look, I have a lot of faith in these guys. I mean, their love is so strong for each other. That's my boy. I'll be watching you, kid. Good luck. this off. I saw their faces. Deep down, they feel it's hopeless, like everything true in their lives was lost, and they can't get it back. Some feel like outsiders inside of their own relationships, while the person they love is being pulled in another direction. Some were sure their love was strong enough to last for all time, and they can't understand what tore it apart. Some know all of the reasons, but find themselves leaning on others they never dreamed of depending on. Some have lost so much faith in each other, I'm not even sure where to start. I mean, the feeling's still there, but the trust has been poisoned. So much has been washed away that moving on seems like the only road open. Some lucky ones still have support, an old friend, an old lover to turn to, to help them through the tough times. Some find themselves more alone than they've ever been. More alone than any heart should be. And some more alone than their hearts can bear. It's all up to me now. If it's gonna take a miracle, then hey, that's what it's gonna take. I can do this. I can. I know I can. I have to. I have to get these couples back together. And you know what? I know just what this town needs. And starting right now, <laughs> I'm ready!
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Miracles happen. On the next Port Charles. Well, I look at what our friends are going through, and I, I see how they've been torn apart. And I just, I don't want that to happen to us. Hi. Are you up for a couple visitors? Up next, it's All My Children, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, right here. Mm -hmm.